theories about how huge stars are born are set to change after astronomers in Chile found evidence that the dust and gas surrounding a young star could survive bombardment by its own radiation. The discovery is very important and challenges the way astronomers originally thought stars were born. The revelation was made using the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, known as ALMA, a $1.4 billion ground-based telescope located in the Chilean Atacama Desert. A star forms from a collapsing gas cloud. The baby star being born attracts gas and dust because of gravity, gradually creating a spinning accretion disk from which planets can be formed. Some of that material is then fired off in supersonic jets of gas. These types of disks are made up of diffused material and are usually found orbiting around highly massive objects in space, including forming stars and black holes. Both the disks and jets have been found around a massive star being born and at the same time emitted ultraviolet radiation. It's already understood that high-mass stars emit ultraviolet radiation in their birth, but astronomers thought until now the radiation would destroy the disks and jets and delay the star's creation. However, ALMA has now shown that the material spiralling around young stars can withstand the radiation and showed that it can peacefully coexist with gas and dust, the first time such a confirmed observation has been made.